morning everybody this is uh, Eric Clark's travel videos and I'm gonna show you how I make my uh, Turkish coffee and so um, I have a pan that um, like they do but the only reason I'm doing this is because this pan is big enough that uh, I can uh, I can make my coffee which is the, the big uh, 30 ounce mug from hell so anyway so this is uh, their king size I think it's probably a family size coffee maker but anyway so here's what I do um, so I'm going to take a scoop of coffee and then another scoop of coffee. So two big scoops of coffee. And then I put my coffee away. And then I run, the guy said to run cold water. This is the guy that I met on the train and talked. And he said the way they do the espressos is wrong. He said that if they just use hot water, that the coffee never has a chance to boil or to release its chemicals. So you fill up your coffee thing with water and it all kind of floats and stuff. So you get it about that full. And then I'm gonna stick it on the burner and turn on the right burner. Let's make sure this is the right one. I'd hate to catch my uh, place on fire. So that should get red here in about two seconds. And there it goes, okay. So this will take, uh, and I put it on kind of a, like a three quarter way, maybe, maybe not three quarters, maybe about half. And so I'm gonna let this start boiling and I'll come back and videotape when it gets done. So now we're hoping for boil. Okay, bye everybody. All right, as it gets to going, you gotta kind of tap down the ground. You can see how there's some that are still kind of dry. As the water starts getting warmer, these will slowly move to the bottom. It's like they have to absorb all the liquid and <laughs> they'll sink or something. But, uh, you know, and I am not an expert. I just watch the guy do it and uh, talk to the other guy about it. And, and this is what seems to work. So you can see now that they're, most of them, now that they've it's gotten a little warmer and such, it's getting closer. I'll turn it up just a titch and uh, we'll get the boiling thing happening. Okay, so I got my grounds tapped down and so now I'm just <laughs> waiting for the boil. Bye everybody. Okay, as it gets closer to boiling, I, uh, I give it a good stir just to make sure all those grounds in the bottom aren't clumped up and uh, turn it into a big ball of hook. And, uh, and so uh, you gotta keep it moving a little bit and get it to release all its coffee flavor and uh, Nutrients. <laughs> Are there nutrients in coffee? But you can see how there's not much on the top here. Um, so when it starts to boil, it gets kind of funny. So, so you have to pay attention because it's going to get to a spot where um, where it'll boil over, actually. Um, how warm are we? I guess we're getting really close. My little fire's going. Cool. All right, I'll come back. Okay, I got my boil thing starting to happen now. And here's where things get really interesting. <laughs> Not that making coffee gets really interesting at all, but uh, you can see that um, it'll boil. And you have to be really careful because in this little pot, it'll boil over. Um, and so you have to regulate it and keep it from going crazy. We need music here, huh? Dun, 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 So anyway, so there goes my boil. It looks delicious, doesn't it? <laughs> and so when it starts to get too high, you gotta take it off the, the burner a little bit and then kinda go back to it. But eventually, all that bubbling will subside and let's go over here a little bit and see if I can give it a oops man the juggle of coffee huh you know that little ten dollar coffee pot I had or bought from Walmart <laughs> seemed to work twice as good as this but this is actually pretty good coffee so so anyway so you get this going and it's pretty much done but I usually get it to a rapid boil um, where it won't overflow so 
I figure that's probably pretty good. Let's pull it back just a titch. Okay, cool. Now I'm gonna turn down the heat and let it settle down, right? Because you want all those grounds to go to the bottom. So now I go to my coffee cup, which is, I have to put hot water in it so that, uh, I put hot coffee in a cold cup, huh? And this is my, uh, my deal. It's a insulated tumbler <clears throat> that I travel with. Um, nothing worse than having little itty bitty tiny cups that uh, your finger doesn't even work. Silly. Take 10 of those. Okay, so I figured that's done enough. So the grounds have settled down. Everything's good to go. I'm uh, ready to go. And so now we just pour it in slowly. You don't want to bring all those grounds to the surface. I think the pot shaped this way just for that very reason too, so that it catches the hooky pook at the bottom. And so then I'm just gonna come over here and dump this down in the drain a little bit. And now I'm ready to add my milk and sugar and that kind of stuff. And Rinse my pot, and there's my cup of coffee. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.